I got it. Thank you. I have that song locked and loaded. Uh, but uh, I'm going to actually shift gears here for the last segment because uh, for the, uh, for the uh, like we were talking about this earlier, 2016, perhaps one of the biggest news stories here in Edmonton, of course, which was a video that went viral that, of course, was shot by this gentleman, or rather they were shooting you. It was a city of Edmonton uh, uh, PSA, I yeah. guess, about how cool our downtown was, right. a moment uh, of absolute disgusting racism happened, mm -hmm. and you made it into a movement. Yeah, it, you know, it's kind of neat what happened. I mean, it's been maybe three months now but yeah. looking back on how fast things have happened it's been pretty special kind of to be at the helm of it but we turned it into a campaign a really about conversation and 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 you know calling it out when you see it and helping victims really just being like a really nice loving person who's down with equality and that kind of caught on because as it turns out lots of us are well it's interesting you when it happened the one thing that you never got was rageful or angry yourself and a right. lot of people look to you to see what your reaction was because it happened to you and that was like the like did you did you monitor your response did you or is that just generally yeah, how I mean, you sort of that's more of a of a me thing in general right yeah. i mean it's i also understood one thing that happened and i remember this was your my whole cast my whole crew they were white and I'm the only black guy. So right now, I'm going to be the example of what happens when you call a black guy the M-bomb. What I do in this moment is that example for this group of individuals. That did cross my mind, although regardless, I've never really been a violent dude. That's not what's going to happen. But I did make sure that I didn't, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Like nothing is just often as bad. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, you're absolutely right. And just doing one little thing. You know, one person can do a lot, and now it's turned into something much bigger than myself, and I'm just here to... Steer it, hopefully, as much as I can. Oh, it's, yeah. well, well, I know, like, literally on the daily, you're going in, uh, you can uh, support, of course, this initiative. And, and I want to make this very clear that this is, this is supporting sort of the initiative of taking you and your message to schools. Like, you're going to schools daily now. Oh, yeah, I'm at schools daily. I just finished a, a fun one, of, a grand rounds at the Great Nuns, talking with doctors and psychiatrists, uh, doing TED Talks now. Uh, it's not just in Edmonton, it's in Calgary, it's in Nanaimo, it's in Vegas, it's in L.A. Uh, it's really neat, man. It's, uh, it's something that you can really identify with, you know? Mm. It's, it's really saying everybody can be an activist every day just with little teeny moves. Yeah. You know, we don't have to change the whole world at once. We yeah. can do something really small. What is so awesome, though, is that it's not about, there's no barrier in what you're, you're proclaiming to do. It, you're, you're, the message is so, it, it's, 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 it's unified. It's right. everybody. Yeah, We're yeah, in yeah. this together. And yeah, yeah. Happens, it's not like a black, it. white thing. It's not yeah. a feminism thing. It's yeah. not a LGBT. It's everybody. Yeah. We are on this thing together, and let's work on being better. And it's not even soapboxy. No. I, like, I got prejudices, too. I got to work on them. Everyone's yeah. got them. Right? We all have them, though. <laughs> but it's being aware that that's okay. Let's just try and be a little bit better than we were yesterday. That's, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, then. I leave it with you. Your hope for 2017, then. You've got a lot of work to do. I feel like you, I feel like something happened, and you made it, you made, I mean, this is going to be sound so trivial, but you had that, you could have had lemon, and you made a beautiful glass of lemonade. What is 2017 home? Man, I hope that I, I, I can continue that, for sure. Uh, and for me, 2017 is about not waiting at all, like mm -hmm. just doing things, knowing what you're passionate about and don't, being, don't be scared. And I mean, I always have, but I want to take it to a new level. And honestly, like when Alan Thicke passed, that was a big thing yeah. for me. It was like, uh, I, I, I was like, he, he lived a life, a big one. It was yeah. full of love, and I don't want to waste any time yeah. ever. And, I know yeah. he was close to you, and I know you guys worked a lot, and he was sort of a mentor to you. So uh, this and him and all of this, 2017, yeah, it's, it's all about doing. It's all about doing. Love, doing, respect, and Edmonton. What? Boom? What do you mean, what? what? I mean, yes! I mean, like, what? That I mean, kind, like, like oh, urban yeah. what? Oh, yeah. It wasn't yeah. a real question. I, oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I, I know the answer. What? <laughs> well, what uh, yeah, oh, see, what? that's me. That's my bad. Sorry, we gotta go. This uh, seriously cool cat is gonna check out of here, and I will take my seriously street self out of here as well. We'll be back. More. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. What? 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 Oh, what? we'll be back. <laughs>